Day two for pitchers and catchers at Camelback Ranch. Tony La Russa shouldn't have to worry about who will be closing games for the Sox. Liam Hendricks was their big offseason signings after back-to-back -back dominant seasons in Oakland. Speaking of big, one thing that really stood out to Hendricks and his wife when they arrived at camp, the size of his new teammates, like Space Jam movie villain large. And she mentioned to me, she's like, why are they all so big? So everyone's a lot taller than me, which is very disconcerting. But um, they're like the monsters. They're just that group of physically able guys out here that want to learn, want to win. And this is going to be a good group of guys, a fun group of guys. And the fact that they're young with the mixture of veterans, this is the, this is the makeup that you want to have on paper leading into a season. In Mesa, the Cubs rotation will have a much different look in 2021. Alec Mills is back and fighting for a spot as one of their five starters. Mills had an ERA around four and a half at 11 starts last year, headlined by a no hitter. This year, he looks to be more consistent, so he's leaning on one of the most consistent pitchers in baseball, Kyle Hendricks, for advice. I think the one thing that I've really kind of dive into is, is his routine in between starts. See how he kind of attacks in between starts you know what is he what are his thoughts in a bullpen uh what are what are his thoughts as far as what he needs to do to be you know the same pitcher every five days for the whole year i think for me that's that's something that's going to make me successful now mill said he still hasn't wa rewatched that no hitter the 16th in cubs history and it actually hasn't completely sunk in that he did it